you dig? Hey, what's going on, man? Nah, young hey, They say Soulja ain't from the hood. Hey, they say Soulja ain't from the hood. Hey, hey, they say ain't from the hood. Me, though. Okay. What's going on, guys? Ness here. And what I have in front of me today is the Soulja game handheld. Well, sort of. When I found out that Soldier Boy, of all people, was coming out with a few game consoles, I knew there had to be some fine fuckery afoot. So I go over to his website, Soldier Watch, and sure as shit I was right. Just by looking at this thing, I realized I had seen this thing before, it's been out for a really long time, and it goes by a bunch of different names. So instead of paying Soldier Boy's ridiculous upped price, I went to where I usually go for stuff like this, and sure enough, I found it for much cheaper. So that's where I bought mine from. So now the question remains, is the Soldier game handheld any good? My guess would be no, but let's find out. The contents of the box are very basic. You have the unit itself. A set of instructions, as well as a cable for charging. The console itself looks like a bizarre, oversized version of the Game Boy Micro, only made out of completely cheap plastic. It's got four face buttons, a directional pad, a start and select button, you got two shoulder buttons, and an extension port similar to that of the Game Boy Advance. I have no idea what this extension port does, even in the instruction manual it does not say what this thing is for. On the bottom it has a headphone jack and a factory reset button. It also comes with this Game Boy Advance looking cartridge that has a micro SD card slot on the top of it. This is how you add more games to the unit. Now I thought to myself, since this thing is the exact same size as a Game Boy Advance cartridge, could I in fact play my real Game Boy Advance cartridges on this device? So I went and grabbed one, popped it in, and it did absolutely nothing. It will not play your original Game Boy Advance cartridges. Firing the thing up, it has the kind of interface you come to expect from devices such as this, but it does have a surprisingly large amount of variety when it comes to emulators. You got CPS, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Famicom, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Game Gear, and Game Boy. Here I am playing the old Punisher arcade game, and it seems to run pretty good. Now I found this to be pretty impressive, this thing actually has Garu Mark of the Wolves on here and it doesn't run like complete ass. Not what I was expecting from such a cheap feeling handheld like the Soldier game. And it actually has a really impressive Super Nintendo library on here. It's Sega Genesis lineup isn't half bad either. And seeing as how it's like a Game Boy Advance with an identity crisis. It's got plenty of options for those games as well. It's always nice to see one of these China knockoff consoles sport Game Gear support. The arcade version of Street Fighter 2 runs as good as you would expect.
I've seen things that play a lot better than this. But at the same time, I've seen things that play a lot worse too. This thing does have an impressive ROM set, and it plays most of them fairly well. There's a ton of options out there for retro gaming emulation handhelds, but if you have to have this one, don't get ripped off by Soulja Boy. Use one of the links I put in the description or find it somewhere else for way cheaper. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.